Hi guys, I welcome you all to the next lecture in our anthropology series. Uh, so today we are going to complete uh, the 9.2. We were left with a uh, with with our last topic that is uh, we are going to study about lethal genes uh, and vital genes, and then there are other uh, you know types of lethal genes that we are going to study. So basically now we you know that we were studying about uh, basically we are studying genetics that means we are studying how the genes and the encoded information gets transferred to the next generation and how this genetics in us behaves what is the inheritance patterns and all of that okay so lethal the word is lethal and the word is genes right so lethal from the name itself means something dangerous or fatal right so which is something not good and genes so you know so basically if you have to see these are certain alleles theek hai alleles kya hoge the different variants of genes which cause the end of the entity which carries it that means for example this person a theek hai if this person a has a lethal gene in him this lethal gene in entity a or individual a will cause this person's death that means if somebody has certain genes which are lethal in nature that means which are dangerous which are fatal in nature they will ultimately cause death of the person okay so this this uh, concept of lethal genes ya kuch aise there are certain genes which can you know be dangerous if we inherit them and if we have these genes they are uh, dangerous for our life this was studied by uh, a french uh, geneticist okay his name was cunot and he studied this uh, lethal genes in the mice okay so there is a mice i'll just show you the mice basically okay so basically kya hota hai he did he was trying to study that there is mice and there are two colors uh, one is the brown phenotype that means either the or it was brown ya aguti keh lo you can either call it aguti brown there was that brown shade that it exhibited or the mice was yellow in color theek hai so let me take it as yellow ko i will give like y and brown ko i will give it as brown theek hai so if we try and draw the punit square for this so what happens is uh, if it has pure brown that means bb pure brown ke liye wo bb ho jayega right so that means it will show the bb color right that means pure gen genotype kya hai bb and it is showing the color brown theek hai fir uh, then if we cross breed by to genetic uh, genetic type type kya hui genotype is by but the color it ex exhibited was yellow that means jo yellow trait tha na that was the dominant trait over the brown so brown was a recessive you can say but brown exhibited itself when it was in both so it it has to be in homozygous form so that it exhibits itself so bb kya hua it's a homozygous form by kya hoga heterozygous ho gaya that means dono both are not the same but in heterozygous the dominant trait exhibits itself so in this case the dominant was yellow so yellow exhibited itself theek hai now next comes the again by by mein yellow is going to exhibit itself theek hai so yellow do the genotype was by but yellow dominated and the next one is y y to isko pure yellow hona chahiye but in pure yellow the case was seen that every time the let me change the color every time when the uh, mice attained pure homozygous yellow color pure homozygous yellow it died that means there was certain problem or you can say it when it came in y y condition that means pure yellow mein jab wo aa raha tha it was a lethal gene that was becoming a lethal gene that means he saw that there are certain conditions in our genes when when certain uh, times if uh, you know the mice was attaining that position it was dying so that means that gene became lethal when in homozygous form so it was a in homozygous it was becoming lethal so this was what cunot studied theek okay? hai 
so as per q not color yellow was dominant over the brown we have talked about this hence he found that under homozygous condition mice could never be yellow in color kyunki wo yy mein kabhi bhi yellow nahi ho payega because every time he will die because in yy pure y mein it was becoming lethal but by mein it was surviving theek hai na that means whenever it attained the homozygous condition it became lethal gene lethal gene kya hota hai which causes death of the person possessing that gene so the nature of lethal genes dominant bhi ho sakte hain they can be recessive or even conditional so in this case in the mice ka case you can say sorry in the mice ka case you can say that it it was uh, though it is a uh, you know you can say it is a recessive trait because only in the homozygous condition it is causing the death whereas agar wo heterozygous condition mein hai theek hai when y allele is taken in a heterozygous format it is not causing the death but it is causing a death when it is in the homozygous form so you can say that is why the lethal genes can be recessive dominant and what is the dif- difference precisely main batati hu i'll tell you so there are there are traits that are dominant and there are traits that are recessive so dominant trait kya karta hai it expresses itself whether in homozygous or heterozygous that means it has to show itself it will express itself but recessive trait only sh- expresses itself in the homozygous condition that means if somebody has a disease and the person is not showing it it is a carrier obviously theek hai na carrier ka kya hota hai if you you know you do not know what is carrier and all of that please go watch the previous lecture i have cleared it out there carrier mein kya hota hai the person does not exhibit the disease but it is a carrier because in dominant ke case mein you can never carry the disease because the disease itself becomes fatal now let me give you an example if you are not able to understand this because i'm sure many from non bio background will not be able to understand this okay so let's take the example of sickle cell anemia and from this you will understand so let's let's take that normal uh, normal uh, trait was एच ओके नॉर्मल हेमोग्लोबिन शुड बी लाइक एच ठीक है बट इन इन द केस ऑफ सिक्कल सेल द शेप ऑफ आर बी सी इज चेंज टू मोर ऑफ अ सिक्कल सो नॉर्मल आर बी सी लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके बट इन सिक्कल सेप शेप आर बी सी चेंज इट इट्स शेप टू अ सिक्कल लाइक दिस ठीक है सो लेट एस टेक सिक्कल सेल में हम उसको एच एस कर देते हैं ठीक है सो अगेन लेट्स ड्रॉ अ प्यूनिट स्क्वेयर and see what happens so now what happens is if if i draw a punit square to h into h would be hh that means this is a pure normal person because it has both healthy hemoglobin right hs ek ye ho gaya heterozygous because this person has one normal gene and one uh, sickle cell so he will have a mild sickle cell disease he will have a mild sickle cell disease because sickle cell is a recessive you can say it's it is a recessive trait it is not a dominant trait so it only becomes fatal when it is in the homozygous condition i'll show you again h into hs ban gaya same genotype that means this person has a mild disease and the person who go, gets hs hs becomes fully uh, sick this person is sick and and this time it will become a fatal disease so kya hota hai when the de- when you have traits that are recessive they only become fatal in homozygous condition in heterozygous they either have only mild disease or sometimes it it even favors just so for example in this case jo uh, sickle cell hota hai na it is uh, it it protects you from malaria so a homozygous normal person would have malaria theek hai but a heterozygous person having mild sickle cell disease is not prone to a lot of malaria and then jo homozygous uh, sickle cell anemia wo to he will die so sometimes isi ko bolte hain heterozygous advantage isko kya bolte hain heterozygous advantage now this is the topic for 
our next uh, i mean this is 9.3 ka part hai so i will cover it there and i will not confuse you right here so i hope you have understood so this i've told you now uh, ki lethal genes kya hote hain that means they are fatal and the person who is carrying it ultimately it causes a death of the individual but in this also there are different types there are dominant lethals there are recessive lethals there are conditional lethals so sometimes in recessive lethals it might not cause the disease uh, disease because sometimes the person becomes a carrier theek hai na if it is in a heterozygous format it will only become a carrier and it will only become lethal when it is in the homozygous condition so i'll come i'll bring you back to this uh, this uh, picture because me ko isse aapko samjhana hai let me remove this part and okay so this you will understand from here okay so types of lethal first is recessive lethal now we have talked about what is recessive lethal that means it is not going to cause death in every case because the the gene is recessive that means agar wo homozygous banega only then it will cause the uh, the uh, death and most lethal genes are recessive that means because kya hota hai ki lethal gene kya hota hai wo death it causes death and it will only be present in a population when it is able to pass on to the next generation because if the gene is dominant theek hai now let us take a uh, another example and let us take a imaginary example so i say this a is a normal gene okay this is normal allele and this is ad this is the dominant one so similarly a or ad kar dete hain and mai bol rahi hu this gene is a dominant gene theek hai sickle cell ke case mein that was a uh, that was a recessive trait bas is case mein hum dominant le lete hain to aa wala person to healthy ho gaya he has no problem ठीक है ए ए डी वाला पर्सन है सेम ये भी ए ए डी वाला पर्सन बनेगा एंड देन देल बी अर ए डी ए डी राइट सिमिलर बन गया सो नाउ आई एम सेइंग ए डी दिस ए डी वाला जो जीन है दैट इज डोमिनेंट सो व्हाट डज दैट मीन इवन इफ इट इज इन द हिट्रोजाइगस फॉर्मेट इट विल कॉज द डेथ सो इट डज नॉट नीड डोमिनेंट के केस में क्या होता है डोमिनेंट ट्रेड के केस में इट इज दैट इट डज नॉट नीड टू बी इन द होमोजाइगस format to cause the death so in every case it is going to cause the death in three cases it is going to cause the death apart from the healthy one so are the dominant lethals going to be uh, you know present in the population no because in every case they are causing the death so how will they be passed on to the next generation so predominantly only the recessive ones are passed on to the next generation because if you want to pass on any disease you need to live you need to uh, you reproduce and then only you will be if you are a carrier of that disease only then you are going to pass on that disease so recessive lethals kya hote hain this uh, they uh, this, their expression or the the death wala part only in the homozygous conditions theek hai and other in heterozygous the survival is unaffected or mildly affected theek hai they turn fatal only in under homozygous i've told you and there is an example of a manx cat or sickle cell anemia ka example main de diya there is a manx cat also i'll just show you the picture this is the manx cat so basically kya hota in the case of this cat it is a tailless cat so the taillessness is the is the trait the recessive trait that it is not you know uh, when when whenever it is not attaining the uh, trait basically ye hota hai theek hai jaise sickle cell mein you get mild sickle cell disease they become tailless theek hai so this is also a recessive lethal trait and when it has the when it comes into homozygous trait theek hai na it becomes fatal so homozygous ki uh, sorry recessive mein it is only causing death when it is becoming fatal okay uh, sorry it is only causing death when it is becoming homozygous okay then comes the dominant lethals now i have told you dominant lethal may even one copy of the allele is going to turn fatal so is case mein 100% death hogi so agar hum do punit square banate hain do alleles ka so there are four cases and three cases mein it causes death only the healthy one only one healthy one is not causing the death other three it is causing the death 
सो डोमिनेंट इसीलिए है बिकॉज इवन इफ वन कॉपी ऑफ दैट जीन इज देयर इट इज कॉजिंग द डेथ सो दे आर नॉट सो फ्रीक्वेंटली फाउंड इन द पॉपुलेशन एज इट इज कॉजिंग द डेथ एंड इट इज नॉट ट्रांसमिटेड टू देयर ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स एंड देयर एग्जाम्पल्स आर यू कैन से वन ऑफ द रेयर डिजीज दैट आर देयर इन ह्यूमन्स इज हंटिंगटन्स कोरिया और हंटिंगटन्स डिजीज दिस इज अ न्यूरो डिजेनरेटिव डिजीज बेसिकली क्या होता है विद द passing age the person uh, neuro uh, muscles gets degenerate and and the person starts to forget and all of that things okay so this is one of the examples of dominant lethal diseases okay so now this is something which i'm going very deep into because uh, uh, ultimately these words you need to understand homozygous kya hota hai what is heterozygous lethals because these are the things that we are going to study in the genetics so paper may it is not going to come in the detail that i am telling you but you need to understand because if you make this understanding here you will be able to very easily write about them in the exams so one one uh, definition and one example would be fine for example isme sickle cell yaad rakh lo isme huntington's yaad rakh lo this much would be fine for you now next comes your conditional lethals now the word Uh, itself explains what what would it mean conditional lethal that means it requires certain conditions or certain external stimulus or environment in which it turns deadly otherwise kya hai it is normal but if it gets that environment or that stimulus from outside it becomes lethal so in in humans there is a disease uh, there is a gene called favism gene बिकॉज देर इज अ फावा बीन्स होते हैं देर आर अ टाइप ऑफ बीन्स कॉल्ड फावा बीन्स सो सम पीपल आर एलर्जिक टू दिस बीन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ दे ईट दीज बीन्स दे दे इट बिकम्स वेरी प्रॉब्लमैटिक फॉर देम बिकॉज दे डो नॉट हैव दिस इंजाइम कॉल्ड जी सिक्स पी डी ओके सो नाउ यू डोंट नीड टू गो सो मच डिटेल इन टू इट बेसिकली क्या होता है इनके हेमोग्लोबिन में देर अ देर अ डेफिशेंसी एंड they are not able to maintain that proper hemoglobin because of this g6pd enzyme it is missing so that because of that they have an allergy to this fava beans so if they eat it then they uh, you know it it becomes very difficult for them to cope up with that and in that case it can become fatal so one more example of this is temperature sensitive allele in drosophila now i'll show you this is uh you know you can say drosophila this is one of the insects theek hai isme kya hota hai inka ek normal temperature hota hai in which they survive and reproduce in healthily if that temperature if that external temperature increases or decreases beyond their uh, you know adaptability or that place jisme jaise for example 20 to 30 unka normal example de rahi hu 20 to 30 degree celsius is normal or conducive environment for them to breed theek hai if it breaches this limit theek hai they will die so conditional lethal kya hota hai if there is certain external environment that does not suit them so that becomes lethal for them theek hai so these were conditional lethals then there are balanced lethals balanced lethal kya hota hai you have two genes theek hai there are two uh, genes in you theek hai they counterbalance each other they are two lethal genes but they counter balance the effect of each other so humans may as such balanced lethals are not present uh, a lot but they are present in uh, mice mein bahut hote hain drosophila mein bahut hote hain so they are certain uh, you know you can say they balance each other's effect theek hai so these are uh, balanced lethals and then there are gametic lethals that means in the gamete only it becomes incompetent to fertilize that means the gamete only cannot fertilize certain allelic certain genes are there which makes the gamete incompetent to fertilize so fertilization se pehle hi it becomes uh, you know wahi pe khatam ho jata hai so i hope you must have understood the lethal itne detail mein nobody is going to ask you what are lethal genes so basic basic i have told you that they become fatal and they are dangerous for the survivability of the human beings and then comes humans or any other living organism possessing it now comes the vital genes now vital from the word itself means that they are essential you know you can say but yahan pe it is little different so how the genes which do not affect the survival of the individual so kya hota hai basically vital genes mein ye, ye kya bol rahe hain 
they do not as such you know have any effect on the survivability of the human that means it is saying that it is not that ki these are necessary for the person that means if i do not have these genes aisa nahi hai ki i will die okay so these genes are there or not they are not causing any effect on my survivability theek hai so the survival of the organism is not influenced by the vital genes or uh, if they are there they might increase theek hai or or make my life a little more <coughs> you know successful theek hai survival of the fittest ho sakta hai but it is not that ki it is going to affect me any negative way aisa nahi hai negativity nahi hai that means if i have this gene i don't have this gene it does not carry any difference on my life but if i have it it might be positive effect on me theek hai so i hope you have understood what are <coughs> vital genes then comes the super vital genes now super vital genes now these expressly you can say increase the survivability of the humans or any individuals who carry them because ye super vital hai that means they will have a positive effect vital mein kya tha they are not causing any difference they are indifferent they are not causing you any problem they are not causing you any uh, 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 positive thing but it's okay matlab vital hai theek hai agar hai to it will have a positive impact but super vital will definitely increase the survivability of the individual possessing it to isme examples kya le sakte ho aap जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर डिफरेंट कंडीशन देर आर यू नो देर आर लो टेम्परेचर देर आर यू नो लो एंड हाई लाइट इंटेंसिटी है ड्रॉट है ठीक है देर आर सेलिनिटी देर आर एनवायरमेंटल प्रेशर्स आप हाई ऑल्टीट्यूड पर रह रहे हो तो समटाइम्स इफ यू हैव सर्टन जीन्स दे आर कॉजिंग योर यू कैन से इंक्रीज सर्वाइवेबिलिटी इन दोज एरियाज फॉर एग्जाम्पल शेर पास जो होते हैं ना ऑफ नेपाल ठीक है उनमें भी एक कुछ देर इज अ जीन ठीक है विच एंड एंड देर आर मेनी जीन्स इन द पीपल हु लिव इन यू कैन से साइबेरियन रीजन में जो रहते हैं दे हैव सर्टन कोल्ड जीन्स जो उनको फ्रॉस्ट बाइट से इट प्रोटेक्ट दैम फ्रॉम द फ्रॉस्ट बाइट सो देर आर मेनी प्लेसेज देर पीपल हैव सर्टन स्पेशल जीन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू पुट एन अफ्रीकन पर्सन इन टू टुंड्रा रीजन ठीक है he will have a lot of frostbites because he does not have that gene and he is not adapted to that environment again environment plus genetics to har jagah aayega but again hum abhi yahan pe sirf genetics ki baat kar rahe hain so people who are living in the siberian regions and all of that they have certain cold genes in their body theek hai over the over the course of time and mutations they have caused certain genes like that in their body unke body mein kuch cold genes hote hain which you can say is a super vital gene because it increases their survivability in the condition they are living in that is very harsh cold climate right so these are super vital genes and you have got the example also i will this is a part of 9.3 do, do not worry we are going to cover it there so understand the concept and nobody is going to ask you what are super vital genes and examples so this was just for your understanding and with this we have finished our 9.2 tomorrow we are going to start with 9.3 guys and you uh, guys i'm seeing you are not liking the videos you are not sharing them i'm not happy with the response that i'm getting i'm putting a, in a lot of effort for you uh, so that you are able to understand even the genetics i know people who have who do not have biology as their background unke liye thoda mushkil hota hai but even then i'm trying my level best so please guys like share and subscribe and thank you so much